I only have 48 hours to make an entire boxing game that took almost 3 years. Are these game developers really better than everyone else or were they simply just lucky? <laughs> the interesting thing about this boxing game in particular is the unique art style the developer gave it. I suck at modeling and making art in general so the only real option for me was to download it from the internet and I went looking, searching every corner for a punch a 3D model and guess what, I found one that isn't downloadable. After the long, long search, I decided you know what, I will just make it myself. Yes, I still do hate modeling but considering it's just a capsule with pot belly, it should be okay. Mm. Uh, not not bad I guess. The biggest challenge in making a boxing game is the boxing mechanic itself. With the limited time I had, I decided to ignore all the phases involved in a boxing game and just use animations to make it look like you are in some kind of fist fight. I added an enemy and this is where the hard part comes, animating the player punching. There was really no way I would do this since I would have to use the blender. So, I used a cheat code Mixamo. Now, what, what is Mixamo? The animations are looking functional at the very least, but still nothing really seems to happen. That's a lie. A lot still happens and I'll show you. Imagine a magic field that tells you what it hits, where it hits it. Call this a collider. Now the genius idea is to set off a huge collider and kill anything touching it when this magical pose plays. There is still a lot to do and it's currently game over. Not really. See, I kind of like to you get me explain. Wait, wait. Since I live in Nigeria, there isn't stable power supply. So I thought, why don't I give myself 48 hours full towel that I can split up into any section of the week? Um yeah and to raise the stakes i decided to make a list of three things the game must have to be considered a professional in the game sorry i lied to you guys you can't currently see the health of the enemy going down but that's not the only problem the enemy also can't fight back it should be as simple as using the same code as the player but who would control it if you said ai that would be correct but i chose the work smart option my making the enemy follow the player non-stop and just keep punching really K -O. now turns out when one takes the lazy approach to things bad things are bound to happen in this case the enemy can punch the player when it's clearly not in range and it will still count as a hit i suspect this is due to what i call the collider effect see both the player and enemy have their individual colliders these colliders allow them to stay on the ground and interact with the world around them but that's still not all they also have a separate collider for detecting their opponents so hypothetically what do you think would happen when two colliders touch each other the collider effect in search of a quick solution i found a guy named ryan who had the power perfect solution and that's to ignore both colliders marked as trigger rocket science i know the lazy man approach has been doing wonders up until this point and it was finally time to add some diversity into the game like dodging and combo attacks instead of a plain regular boring dodge i added dashing because i don't want to an animate this was surprisingly easy to do but it ended up being useless for the most part thus i made the player invisible to attacks when dashing making it useful ish now the basics are done you can punch dodge and i also added this one now still the game is too repetitive which is why i'm making a combo system i've always wondered how I would make a combo system when playing other video games so I challenged myself to make a combo system without stealing any single line of code from the internet and hours later
I then added the health bar for both the player and the enemy and it wasn't that hard. It was a nightmare. Maybe I was too ambitious with this but I decided to make the enemy health bar reduce evilly from each corner and that someone managed to take about 6 hours. <gasps> Anyways, I added this dot UI to show how much dashing you have and yes, the game is now in first person. During all this, I forgot the timer. I had less than 5 hours to add a boss fight, special attack and controller support. I had no other choice but to use the lazy man approach just this once. The original game has some cool bosses and special attacks but still would take time. So I decided on the super. Wrestler. I then moved on to code a special attack for the player which is a secret for me. Unity froze. Turns out one of my code had a while loop that didn't have a possible condition. Unity ran the code so fast it crashed. The special move I was working on was a teleportation like attack but with the time I had left yeah I just had to leave it as is. It's only 20 minutes but I've actually added gamepad support in my previous game using the new unity input system so I downloaded the package and wait wait, wait I have to restart uh, I have oh um, uh, Restarting Unity cost my time to less than 10 minutes, so again, I just had to type like my life depended on it. And somehow, despite all that struggles, bugs, and Unity, well, Unity, I I lost.